Imagine you want to swap your Ethereum for a new exciting crypto. You go to a big exchange, place your order, and nothing happens. The price slips away as you wait. Why? Because traditional exchanges use an order book model. You need someone else to want your exact trade at the same time. This works for popular coins but for new or obscure tokens, there just aren't enough buyers and sellers. That's called low liquidity. Low liquidity means slow, expensive or even impossible trades. It's like trying to exchange dollars for euros but only if someone else is there to do the opposite trade at the same moment. DeFi needed a better way, one that didn't rely on matching buyers and sellers. What if you could trade against a pool of funds, always available instead of waiting for a person? This idea changed everything. Instant swaps, no waiting, and access to almost any token. The solution? Liquidity pools. Liquidity pools let you trade directly with a pool of assets, not another person. No more waiting for a match, just swap instantly. This is the engine behind decentralized exchanges. It's a core innovation that powers the DeFi revolution. Let's see how it works. So, what's a liquidity pool? It's a big pot of cryptocurrencies locked in a smart contract. Instead of trading with another person, you trade with the pool itself. This is the heart of automated market makers, or AMMs, like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. No order books. Just pools of funds making trades happen automatically. Anyone can add their crypto to these pools and become a liquidity provider. By adding funds, you help others trade and earn a share of the fees. The pool needs both tokens, say, Ethereum and Magic Coin. When you swap, you deposit one token and get the other, with the price set by a formula based on the pool's balance. It's fast, transparent, and open to everyone. Liquidity pools make it possible to trade new tokens instantly, without needing a big exchange listing. Anyone can create a pool for a new project, letting people trade right away. It's a permissionless, community-driven way to create new markets. That's why liquidity pools are so important for DeFi. Let's use a simple analogy. A lemonade and iced tea stand. You have two jugs, one with lemonade, one with iced tea. That's your liquidity pool. At first, one cup of lemonade equals one cup of iced tea. When someone trades lemonade for iced tea, the lemonade jug grows and the iced tea jug shrinks. Now lemonade is more common so its price drops a bit. Iced tea is scarcer, so its price rises. This is how automated market makers work. Prices shift based on the ratio of assets in the pool. Every trade rebalances the pool, all managed by a simple formula. No order books, no middlemen, just math. As the stand owner, you charge a tiny fee for each swap. Those fees go back into the pool, growing your share over time. The more trades, the more fees you collect. At the end of the day, you have more lemonade and iced tea than you started with. That's your profit for providing liquidity. In crypto, it's the same. Provide liquidity. Earn fees. Want to earn those fees? Become a liquidity provider. Deposit equal values of two tokens, like ETH and USDC, into a pool. In return, you get an LP token, which tracks your share of the pool and the fees you've earned. When you're ready, trade your LP token back for your share of the pool plus your portion of the fees. The more trading activity, the more fees you earn. It's a way to put your crypto to work, earning passive income. Some platforms offer extra rewards like bonus tokens to attract liquidity providers. This is called liquidity mining or yield farming. You earn standard fees and bonus tokens, boosting your returns. It's a powerful way to grow your crypto portfolio and it helps new projects build liquidity from day one. Earning passive income sounds great, but there are risks. The biggest is impermanent loss. If token prices change a lot, you might end up with less value than if you'd just held your tokens. For example, if lemonade suddenly becomes much more valuable, your pool ends up with more iced tea and less lemonade. If you withdraw then, you could lose out compared to just holding both separately. Fees can offset this, but not always. There's also smart contract risk. A bug or hack could drain the pool. Only use reputable audited platforms. And beware of risky tokens, if a project fails or is a scam, you could lose your funds. Always do your own research, start small, understand the risks, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. Providing liquidity can be rewarding, but it's not risk-free. Be smart, stay safe, and enjoy the world of DeFi.